was a purpose for us to um, do it all, to invite and to provide you with a chance to listen from distinguished professors, from professionals, from renowned professors from Japan, and provide you with a chance to listen um, and to both um, practice your English skills and also to learn um, some technical um, um, skills, some technical stuff and some knowledge from our professionals. Today, it's a great pleasure to introduce you Professor Nakamura, um, professor from National University of Uzbekistan, um, who has been living and working in Uzbekistan for many years. And um, I know that he is doing his research. He has been doing research in Japan. He has been doing research in Uzbekistan. And um, he's also supervising some PhD students at National University. We have a great chance to listen to him directly because he will be speaking today about the challenges in physics in 21st century. And uh, we have specifically asked him to cover a wide range of specters of uh, topics in physics, starting from cosmology, dark energy and dark matter, and also continue to condense matter and um, gravity and um, all other actual topics that will be hopefully interesting, not only to those who study and doing research in physics, but also to those who just uh, want to know more about physics. And uh, Professor Nakamura, could you please come to the stage? Um, we would like to give a warm welcome to Professor Nakamura. Uh, once again, I think this is a very good chance and I would like to address this especially to our young researchers. This is a very good chance for you to um, listen and to uh, hear not only about some experiences that Professor will share with you in physics, but also to practice your English. Thank you so much. And now without any further ado, I would like to give the floor to um, Professor Nakamura. And please, you can start your presentation. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, thank you very much for a nice uh, introduction for me. So today I talk about uh, challenges of physics in the 21st century. Uh, this is just a brief survey. <coughs> yeah, today's next. So contents of my talk today is uh, cosmology and then particle physics, then gravity and quantum gravity. And uh, after then, uh, condensed matter and finally, uh, nanoscience and chaos. So section one, two, three are the theme, theme themes on scale far from our daily life. Section four is a theme on scale of our daily life. Section five, uh, close to, uh, cross to our daily life, and uh, this, uh, this is my favorite subject. So please pay uh, particular attention to section five. Okay, uh, next. So cosmology, uh, this is the uh, evolution of our cosmos from the uh, beginning. Uh, so this is a big one and, uh, inf uh, and uh, inflation period. Then uh, already, uh, 13 uh, billion years are passed by until uh, our, uh, our ages. So uh, here, in these areas, uh, in, uh, in these areas, only the uh, elementary particles are distributed. And then they began to constitute atoms and molecules. And finally, uh, here appear the first stars after uh, uh, 400 million years from the Big Bang. Then, uh, then uh, stars uh, form the groups and uh, form the galaxy. And many galaxies are constructed. And uh, nowadays, uh, our universe is taken to, uh, to show uh, accelerated uh, expansion. Okay, next. So concerning the uh, 
grows our cosmos, there is a problem a dark matter. This is a uh, illustration of our Milky Way, oh, uh, our, game, our uh, galaxy. Here, uh, in, there are many uh, stars uh, rotating around the uh, center of the galaxy. So our solar system are moving somewhere here. So what is dark matter? The amount of substance conjectured from the uh, rotational velocity of a galaxy nebula is much larger than the uh, uh, visible substance. This means, uh, so uh, stars here show the very uh, fast rotation, rotational motions. So in order to, uh, to suppress uh, the suppress the uh, diffusion from galaxy, um, big mass should be located inside here. But uh, so long as we see uh, this area, uh, not enough uh, uh, stars, not enough masses can, can't be found. Therefore, there should be, there, uh, there should exist unknown about abundant substance. This is called uh, dark matter. This is not invisible. This is not visible. It is the source of the gravity. So these matter, uh, dark matter will generate a attractive force competitive to centrifugal force, but has no electromagnetic so nature. Next. So problem with dark energy. Uh, so universe, our universe shows accelerated expansion according to the observation. Something abundant, dark energy is necessary to generate the university, uh, to the universal repulsive force. So gravity uh, has a tendency to pull inside the, the galaxies or group of galaxies, but Observed results are uh, uh, different. So, according to uh, to explain the accelerated expansion, uh, some uh, some mechanism is needed. This is the uh, presence of dark energy. So, ordinary material and photon cannot be such a candidate. Estimated vacuum energy of them is too small to explain the observed accelerated expansion of the universe. So, a uh, Nobel Prize of 2011 uh, given to uh, these uh, people uh, thanks to the, this exciting observation. Concerning this subject, there is also, we can't uh, uh, ignore the earlier works by Friedman, Rometro, and Hubble. Is, is there any question or comments about concerning to the first section? <laughs> yes, we have uh, one question from Japan, and there are some uh, students uh, and our scientists who uh, study in Japan University. So, uh, Onida? Uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening, Professor. Uh, I have a question about the dark energy now. For example, if we imagine there are dark energy in our universe, so it is making our universe getting much more bigger. One day, is it possible we will lose dark energy? Then our universe begin getting smaller, because there is a uh, there is a law that one day our universe begin getting just small. It means we may lose our dark energy. So I can't really understand uh, your question, but uh, well, so our cosmos, uh, and, and originally, uh, and, okay, uh, uh, 30 billion years ago, they are focused in a point, small point, okay? Then uh, Big Bang, uh, even the Big Bang uh, it, uh, occurred, then uh, explosion of the small point occurred. 
Then uh, uh, I showed uh, several stages of growth of our universe. Okay. Uh, sensei, uh, she asked, is there any condition when our universe uh, uh, start became smaller? Smaller? Yes. Ah. Is there some condition when it started? Are you mean, uh, are you the future? Future? Yes, what? maybe in future. Okay. Uh, of course, the possibility uh, growing and also shrinking. There are several kinds of uh, prediction uh, theories. But uh, at the moment, uh, recent uh, uh, observations at, at the stage of uh, at, at the, uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, in our ages, cosmos shows acceleration, mm -hmm. no indication of shrinking. But of course, there's a poss possibility. There's a possibility, of course. Okay, the short. Because I'm many. Mm -hmm. So let's let's continue, or then we will. You can ask. Okay, let's continue. Uh, let's uh, start. Okay, set, uh, setting. Thank you for answering. Next. So uh, section two is concerned particle physics. So a classical picture of atoms like this. It's called the nuclei. A nuclei consists of a neutron and a proton. And uh, nowadays, uh, neutron proton has uh, some uh, internal structures consisting of uh, quarks. Okay? Uh, premier, for example, a uh, proton uh, consists of two up quarks uh, of fractional charge and uh, down quark of negative fractional charge. Okay? And uh, so, uh, this, uh, okay, in this way, so this picture. Uh, is okay, but not uh, not perfect nowadays. So we must search for the uh, analysis, investigation of elementary particles, but in a more smaller scale. Uh, next. So, uh, according uh, uh, to the present current uh, investigation, there exist 17, 17 elementary particles. So. One group, these are quarks, and another group is the leptons. So quarks includes uh, up and down. Uh, quarks, uh, this, these are stable. And also, a lepton is a you know, light particle. It's an uh, electron and a neutrino, neutrino electron, okay? like, like, like this. And also, uh, these are the... Uh, these are the uh, existing uh, particles. Here, these are the uh, uh, boson, uh, et, uh, gluon, and uh, new, uh, gluon and W R Z uh, boson and new, new, new boson. So these are the uh, so these particles uh, are used to combine to connect these uh, particles. For example, uh, these quarks are connected by exchanging the gluon. And uh, new, this is the uh, uh, origin of electromagnetic interaction. Okay. Then what is this? This is a Higgs boson. Higgs boson, uh, are considered to give uh, mass to all these particles. So this is a, uh, this theory is called standard model. Okay, next. So Higgs particle, uh, other particle has been already uh, observed, but Higgs particle has not been observed for long years, but in 2000, uh, okay, uh, but, Recently, a Higgs particle uh, was observed, discovered. Higgs particle is a unique among 17 elementary particles. It can be generated by spontaneous symmetry breakdown of fundamental interaction. Fundamental inter interaction uh, is uh, uh, electromagnetic interaction and weak interaction. Weak interaction uh, changes the nature 
or particle. So up coke change to down coke, or electron change to uh, electron neutron. And also at uh, the strong, strong interaction, strong interaction at the uh, uh, interaction which connecting uh, uh, quarks. And so in the beginning of our universe, these interactions are, uh, are degenerate, uh, degenerated. But when a uh, universe becomes cool, breaking of uh, breaking of degenerate interaction occurs, and then there appears the Higgs boson. The Higgs boson ma gives masses to other elementary particles. So this Higgs boson, Higgs particle, was finally discovered by Large Hadron Collider in CERN. And the Nobel Prize uh, was given to the uh, to these proposals. Okay, next. Okay. Also, uh, elementary particle group include the neutrino. Neutrino was believed to be uh, massless and running with a velocity of light like the photon. But the experiment in Super Kamiokande in Japan discovered that the neutrino shows oscillations among different particle natures and can have mass. So, uh, okay. Uh, for example, this is a neutrino uh, coming from the explosion of supernova, Dariko, far from our uh, sorry, solar system. Then they come quickly to our Earth, but uh, it was, uh, it changes uh, on the way to another kind of neutrino, tau, tau neutrino, okay? So this kind of conversion was uh, discovered by, by the experiment in Kamiokande. So conversion of, uh, conversion of this, this kind of conversion means uh, uh, particle change from one generation to gen uh, uh, another generation. Such kind of uh, change was prohibited in the standard theory, uh, standard theory. And therefore, uh, the pride or discovery, or this discovery means we must improve the standard model. Standard model is now uh, not perfect. Question or comments? Question. explanation i uh, realized that for example for dark matter in 2011 you mentioned that there was um, there were people who won nobel prize mm -hmm. and uh, also for particles um, there was in 2013 also nobel prize um, and then for neutrinos mass professor kajita um, in 2015 so i have an ex an, uh, an impression that maybe already these topics were um, explored and there is nothing new for these young researchers to do in this field? Or do you think that there is still a lot to learn and to research, and there is still a very good chance for our students, for young researchers to um, explore more, to research more in this particular fields, and to hopefully get Nobel Prize in the future? Yes, yes, yes. That, that, yeah. that's right. So, uh, Dark matter and dark energy has not yet been uh, uh, discovered. So, uh, so to uh, find out uh, to find out uh, the nature uh, of these matters and energy is a big challenge for young young research, of course. Good evening, dear professor. Welcome to Uzbekistan.
Uh, my question may be in the ordinary, but the, I am going to ask you the quark. 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 The quark theoretical, theoretically predictions or experimentally confirmed? Uh, you mean the theoretical predictions is a quark? Quark. What? Or experimentally confirmed? Observed. Observed. Uh -huh. It was a quark. Yeah, indirect observation. In, of course, indirect observation by colliding uh, uh, high energy particles. Okay? Then uh, you can see uh, some signature of the signature of quark. quark. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good evening, and thank you for your interesting lecture. My question is, uh, you said that uh, neutron can have, um, neutrons can have their mass, mass, mass. yeah, mass. Uh -huh. And uh, we know that uh, when we calculate the mass of elements, we only uh, calculate mass of protons, yeah? Uh, but where, um, but it's, it's wrong if we uh, know that neutrons have mass. The theory will uh, false. You mean to die to two? I mean that uh, protons uh, only give the mass, mm -hmm. but you said that neutrons also have mass. Protons have mass? Ah, yeah. But, uh, Proton not uh, so no. proton is always has a structure, okay? Yeah. That's uh, verified um, by the high, high energy experiment already. Mm. And the charge of proton and the mass of, uh, of uh, uh, proton are very explained in terms of the concept of quarks. Mm. Mm. So the neutron the mass is zero. I don't know about charge zero. Ah. There are proton charge one. Yeah. But by using some uh, combination of fractional charges, okay? fractional charges of uh -huh. uh, down uh, down cock top cock, we can uh, this a uh, simple uh, uh, simple mathematics uh, max max table. <laughs> Very easy. Right. Okay. Next. Right. Micro. Uh, yes, it will reach не о нейтронах, а нейтрино. Да, нейтрино это другой, другая частица, а нейтрон это другой. Нейтрон имеет массу. Нейтрино это другой, другой, другой. Это нейтрино это как бы Профессор же рассказывал о четырех фундаментальных взаимодействиях. Вот, например, у Strong Interaction, как бы, у каждого взаимодействия есть свою, свои частицы. Как бы, например, электромагнитные осуществляются через фотоны, Strong Interaction осуществляется через гульон, а нейтрино — это для Wicked Interaction. Это такой мелкий, маленький нейтрон по этим свойствам по некоторым свойствам похожи на нейтрона, не на нейтрона, но масса намного намного меньше. Sorry. Ну ближе к нулю. А он об этих частицах рассказывал yeah. просто. So uh, now we talk about the gravity and the quantum gravity. So gravitational force is unique among four fundamental interactions. Einstein's theory of general relativity regards the gravity not as an external force but as a space-time distortion caused by the energy mass uh, uh, distribution of the universe. So uh, it explains the gravitational lens, lens effect and uh, upsidal uh, precession of mercury orbit. So it also predicts the gra gravitational wave and the presence of black holes. So this is a 
uh, Einstein equation, uh, uh, left, left side uh, characterize the degree of this degree of distortion of space time, and the right hand uh, in the energy momentum uh, distribution uh, in the universe. So, if this is a big, uh, then a big distortion will, uh, will appear. So, uh, this is the idea of Einstein. So, if there is a ma massive particle, uh, space time around, around uh, this distorted like this. So, even a, uh, uh, even a light photon uh, uh, pass will be distorted. Next, next. Okay, uh, this is a, a, a gra observation of gravitational wave at the laser interferometer gravitational wave observatory, LIGO. Okay, uh, this is a quite a new discovery, 2016. Here, uh, uh, Experimentally located Hanford and Livingstone in the United States, uh, several hundred kilometers uh, distant. But uh, these uh, different group, uh, different uh, positions, uh, is, uh, they uh, discovered the oscillation of strain of long interferometer. So they uh, judged, oh, this is just a, uh, this manifestation of gravitational wave which just arrived on our Earth. And also, uh, this gravitational wave uh, uh, launched originally from the, from the margin of two uh, big uh, black stars. This generated uh, uh, Billion times that of the, our sun, which are released by the event horizon telescope. So, uh, this is the black hole. So, this uh, uh, bright area is uh, uh, X ray or gamma ray, which uh, uh, comes from the back side of the black hole. So, as Einstein had predicted, uh, Light behind the sun is distorted. The same idea uh, works here. So X ray and gamma ray uh, emitted from uh, black hole uh, to this direction, but distorted due to the strong gravity of the black hole. Okay. Next. Yes, Mr. So, so Inside, inside the black hole and in the event of a big bang, that's the beginning of our universe, the gravity is extremely strong and competitive to other three fundamental interactions. Electromagnetic, weak, and strong. Okay? And thereby, uh, thereby, it breaks all material into fragments of elementary particles. Here, uh, in such situations, quantum mechanics uh, dominate the uh, situation. But Einstein's classical theory of general relativity is highly classical, not quantum mechanical. So now, uh, Einstein's classical theory of general relativity becomes useless. Okay? And the theory of quantum gravity 
should be invented, which is a very big challenge for scholars and young students. Uh, Professor Nakamura, thank you for great explanation. And my question is, uh, as you showed us recently, LIGO and Virgo observatories were opened and they started collecting data about gravitational waves, right? Yeah. yeah. And what do you think? How uh, this new experimental data can affect science in the future? Uh, what do you think? Uh, how this new experimental data can affect science in the future? Uh, physics, for example. So before observing, uh, <laughs> so I don't know the details, but uh, I think uh, experiment is always uh, uh, prepare or establish a long interferometer like uh, uh, Michael Moore right? and waiting, waiting. <laughs> I do think so. Good evening, uh, Professor. Thank you for your time. My question is, uh, how many black uh, holes may be in our space? How many black hole? holes? Black holes. How many black holes uh, may be in our, in our space? In roll of them? I think uh, basically uh, around the rocket center, of individual galaxies, but uh, 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 the experimentalists using uh, uh, gamma ray or, or X ray, they uh, they see a lot of black candidate black holes or candidate of neutron stars uh, can uh, can be found. A lot of candidate can be uh, found in in the universe. So not one or two, the many, many, but mostly, uh, mostly this uh, located in the center of individual galaxies. Mm. Stability of the galaxy affected on the. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I know. A bit. A little bit slower. We keep it slower. Stability. Yes, stability. Ah, yes, it contributes to the stability. So it depends on stability of galaxy. Or not. Uh, but it's not enough. So dark matter and uh, dark matter and uh, uh, dark uh, dark matter and black uh, black holes are different. Okay. So uh, dark matter. Uh, uh, so there is no idea at the moment. So even include the. Uh, contribution uh, of black hole, it is enough to stabilize the motion, uh, st stabilize the galaxy. Yes, you are okay, uh, right. Okay, next. Uh, it is uh, uh, close to our uh, real life. Uh, so telev television, television, and smartphone, etc. Uh, uh, connected to uh, constant the condensed matter. So nowadays, uh, most interesting uh, material, uh, two-dimensional graphene. Graphene uh, uh, like uh, hexagonal structures caused by carbon atoms. Okay? And this is stronger than diamond and the most flexible. And both thermal and electric conductivity are highest among other materials. So this is a nice candidate for uh, spintronics, and also uh, both normal and anomalous quantum hole effect. This is a uh, off diagonal uh, conductivity uh, uh, in the presence of strong magnetic field. Quantum effect uh, uh, is observed. So this is a uh, uh, structure is very uh, simple, but uh, applicability is very high. So Nobel Prize was uh, given uh, to the discoverer uh, of graphene to these people. Next. So also uh, soft matter uh, provides a variety of a challenge for young people. So soft matter is a subfield of condensed matter. 
comprising a variety of physics, uh, physical states that are easily deformed by thermal stresses or thermal fluctuations. Uh, this is a, this is a liquid crystal. Uh, they include liquids, colloids, polymers, forms, gels, granular material, or liquid crystal, and a number of biological materials also. These materials share an important common feature in, in that predominant physical behaviors occur at an energy scale uh, compar comparable with room temperature, thermal energy. So this is a quite, uh, ex quite experimentalist. It's a quite uh, accessible, uh, accessible uh, experimental situation. But uh, physics, uh, physics have not yet been fully explored about this. Okay, uh, so this is uh, my favorite subject, nanoscience and the chaos. So playground of nanoscience uh, is called the quantum dot, as I showed uh, in this video. And uh, interesting dynamics uh, is chaos. Chaos also uh, appear uh, in, in this uh, nanoscale uh, nano world. Also, uh, this is a lecture on physics, but chaos is a uh, <laughs> uh, strong bridge to mathematics. So, uh, this subject also provide C uh, uh, related to mathematics. Okay, next. So, uh, here, uh, chaos, uh, here is the quantum chaos. Quantum chaos in nanophysics cons constitute multidisciplinary uh, multi uh, work in modern physics. So, uh, I wrote uh, uh, three monographs uh, given here, okay? Uh, title like this, like this, like this. So, this is my uh, most favorite uh, uh, specialty, okay? Okay, next. Okay, let's uh, consider uh, the natural philosophy since Isaac Newton. Once a present state be given, uh, ah, Newton says, once a present uh, state be given, the future state of matter will be uniquely determined do, by solving a Newton equation motion. Uh, uh, of course, together with the initial, initial condition or boundary condition. So for example, uh, trajectory of a ball kicked by a butter, uh, it shows a, a para parabolic mode, okay? parabolic orbit. This can be predicted by Newton's law. Also Kepler's motion of planet around the sun shows elliptic orbit. So this can be exactly uh, ex ex clearly explained by by this. So, in this way, the future of e e individual uh, uh, matters or even uh, uh, mankind uh, looks predictable. This is the result of uh, natural philosophy established by Isaac Newton. Okay, next. But Newton's equation motion can have nonlinear property. And so, for example, uh, you remember MA equals F, MA equals F. So F force is uh, 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 some quite uh, generally uh, nonlinear. Therefore, Newton's equation motion in general nonlinear. And such, uh, in such cases, uh, nonlinear dynamics, the solution of uh, Newton's equation motion, 
generate chaos, which cannot uh, predict any future, any future trajectory. This idea was already uh, pointed out mathematician for Ankare. Next. So for Ankare, uh, considered if this uh, uh, star, one sun, and uh, if consider a single planet here, yeah, then it shows the uh, elliptic, regular orbit. But if there exists a uh, one more sun, so, so namely coupled star, then one planet uh, shows, uh, uh, can show a uh, strange motion just by solving the Newton's equation motion. So it's a very great surprise, not only for physicists, but also for mathematicians. So the world chaos was the first uh, used by Poincaré. Okay, next. Okay. Also, this is a, a famous person who, uh, whose name is uh, the unit of temper temperature, temperature. He also considered uh, possibility of chaos. This is a stadium, stadium period. Uh, this is a, uh, this, this is a, uh, square, square, square. Uh, this open. And this is a, uh, circle, one, uh, semi-circle and another semi-circle. And uh, this is the stadium, stadium. If, uh, particle, uh, Start from here, here free motion. So this is a uh, uh, elastic uh, uh, inflection, elastic inflection. So Kelvin uh, pointed out one uh, particle motion inside the simplest stadium uh, shows uh, uh, no uh, no periodicity. So so. So particle, particle motion are uh, continued forever. Okay. So this is uh, another uh, picture of chaos. Next. So uh, 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 this then uh, showed uh, several candidates of discs or billiard which of chaos. So this circle, rectangle, and ellipse, triangle, Another another thing. This inside the uh, uh, particle motion inside so the regular motion, periodic motion. But if this are uh, chopped or this is distorted at the stadium like this, then particle motion is chaotic. So particle turn up the number, the original position. So this is how chaos. Next. Okay, the subject is the chaos can exist in the nanoscale cosmos. So nanoscale means, uh, uh, because uh, 10, uh, 10 to uh, 10 minus 9 meter, which are uh, with so, uh, yeah, both uh, multiplied 10 minus 5 after. Nowadays, much wider scale given here are called nanoscale. So, uh, okay, this, this, okay, the motion of electron uh, in molecule, motion of electron in quantum dot, quantum dot, uh, that, uh, okay, this is uh, quantum video. Uh, if uh, electron motion will, will be treated based on the uh, Newton, the classical mechanics, Almost all dynamical system show the chaos. Okay. If we stay in the uh, Newton picture, but uh, this motion can't be derived by Newton. Yes. So, uh, nanoscale uh, world. Uh, uh, dominant law is not Newton Newton law, but the quantum law of quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics. Uh, so quantum me mechanics 
which describes nanoscale also linear and not nonlinear. So let's consider the uh, Schrodinger equation or Dirac equation. They are linear equation with respect uh, for wave function. Okay. So therefore, uh, quantum mechanics cannot uh, show chaos. Nevertheless, there should appear a signature of chaos uh, uh, in, in the experiment. The study of, of the signature of chaos called quantum chaos. Next. So this is a uh, uh, firstly started by uh, Eastern Coast University in America. Uh, so they constructed uh, 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 this kind of structure uh, by using the uh, Gallium uh, is uh, semiconductor heterojunction, and the boundary they are uh, created a uh, electron gas and region of electron gas can be uh, controlled by using metallic uh, metallic structure. So this is a uh, hexagon structure. Electron gas can move. So, electrons confined in nanoscale semiconductor heterojunction. And this is an open system. Electron uh, come here and locate sometimes, then go out. It uh, uh, continues to conduct conductance. When it doesn't come back, it continues to register. Okay, next. Okay, uh, so stadium, uh, so this is a uh, uh, nano, uh, uh, nano scale analog, nano scale analog of stadium, stadium video. Okay, this is a nano scale, uh, uh, nano scale uh, variant of so called China video. China billiard, so there is an obstacle, the particle can move chaotically. This is after mathematics, mathematician. Even the experimentalists uh, fabricate the, the nanostructure version of China billiard. This is called the super lattice. Okay. And these uh, structure is quite uh, uh, small, micrometer, and me free pass uh, is uh, uh, larger than this. So, el electron uh, running here shows uh, ballistic motion, not to diffuse. Okay, next. Then, experimentalists are choosing to uh, Structure. This is a, a circle billiard, open circle billiard. It's an open stadium billiard. And apply the magnetic field uh, uh, perpendicular to the frame, and uh, they measure uh, the conductivity or conductance or resistive resistance uh, for the system. And they found experimentalists found the uh, resistance as a function of a magnetic field like this. It's a case of chaotic billiard. This is a periodic or regular, uh, regular billiard. Apparently, fluctuation is similar, but experimentalists uh, trapped uh, the further uh, analysis of detail. So they are they show the magnification of its central peak. And uh, then they show the Fourier uh, transformation, power, power spectra of gene fluctuation. Okay, next. So, central peak shows the uh, uh, different uh, distinction between chaotic orbit, uh, chaotic billiard, and the circle billiard. 
Here is the Lorentzian peak. Here is the cusp drive peak. Okay. So experimentalists uh, showed some signature or chaos, signature of periodic regular orbits uh, by using the uh, spectra. So this is the distance as a function of magnetic field. Okay, next. Also, very uh, noisy fluctuation. They took a power spectra. So power spectra shows this kind of clear form in case of stadium. But in case of circle, uh, we don't, uh, they couldn't find out this, uh, this nice row. So K also shows some regularity in the power spectrum. Next. So another experiment is a quantum dot or a single sign billiard. So this is a, a barrier. The center is also a, a, a barrier, circular barrier. So here electron comes in and rotate here and then go out or then come, uh, go back. Okay. Then, then next. next. So this is a, a previous uh, experiment to their resistance, but here this is a, a conductance. So the conductance and resistance are just change the sign. So previous case, a central peak was like this, but here the central dip. Okay? But the experimentalist uh, uh, made a very careful ex uh, experiment. They further uh, observed made uh, of the conductance as a function magnetic field. It's a military order, mili Tesla. Then they find by careful uh, magnification, they found this kind of structure. And by careful examination, uh, ex experiment of this, they see that. So this looks like a, a fractal, which a uh, mathematician uh, likes. So fractal can be seen in the nanoscale, uh, nanoscale structure. Fractal was also mathematician Mandelbrot uh, proposed, but fractal can be seen in uh, nanostructures. Okay, next, next. So other experiments. So energy level statics uh, shows interesting fluctuations, which reflects the underlying chaotic classical dynamics. So you know, in quantum mechanics, energy level is discrete, not continuum. Continuum is a classical, classical dynamics. Okay. In the quantum mechanics, energy is discretized. In chaotic situations, uh, energy levels uh, appear, but quite uh, random, just like the barcode in the supermarket. Okay. And, uh, Experimentalists are also concerned with the spacing, spacing distribution. There are many spacing. So these are the uh, stochastic variable. They examine the spacing distribution. Okay, next. Next. So spacing and distribution, universal correlated uh, level spacing. Okay, this is a... Uh, 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 this is how discretized levels, quantum level appears in the real experiment. So this is a, a hydrogen atom in the presence of electric, magnet, ele electric field. So electric field is very small. This is a uh, Burma Papsian series, shows the splitting. This is a perturbational regime. This is uh, uh, written in the uh, book of quantum mechanics. Okay. But when electric field is increased, the spectra become quite complicated. Okay. And uh, most important, uh, so for example, this level and this level does not cross, but avoid like this. As a result of avoided, if we consider the uh, assembly of Quantized levels that show the barcode, barcode like uh, spectra. 
And these region, underlying classical picture is this. So electron shows the circular, Kepler orbit around the nuclei. But here, uh, electron uh, moves chaotic, uh, chaotic orbit. So this is a, a quantum mechanical signature, or quantum mechanical manifestation of chaos and regularity. Okay, next. So one can see many signatures of chaos in nanostructures. For full understanding of experiment, however, quantum chaos or quantum theory of chaos should be invented. So I'm trying, but not yet uh, completed. So I hope young people uh, <laughs> join the activity to invent a theory of uh, quantum chaos. Okay, next. Uh, this is a conclusion. Uh, conclusion and future prospect. So a lot of mysteries of nature await for challenge, uh, challenge, uh, challenging new theories and experiments. Firstly, a uh, standard model of elementary particles should be innovated uh, due to the discovery of oscillation of neutrino. Okay? Uh, also, uh, quantum gravity theory should be invented because in the inside the black hole or in the, in the beginning of our universe, uh, gravity is very strong and comparative to other fundamental interactions. So gravity uh, destroys materials into fragments or elementary particles. The uh, quantum mechanics may be very important. Why Einstein give up to construct the quantum mechanics uh, in the singular regime? So this is a challenge for young people. And also theory of quantum chaos uh, should be invented. I myself trying, but not yet complete. Okay. So, thank you very much for a nice presentation. Uh, and uh, who has any question or comments? One question from first. Uh, Professor Nakamura, thank you for your lecture. And actually, I have two questions. First one is, uh, what makes soft matter challenging to study? Uh, what makes soft matter challenging to study? You said that is not. Uh, you said that soft matter is not well studied right now in terms of physics. And second question is, you showed us a lot of information about quantum chaos, but does it have practical applications in real world, not in theory? Okay, uh, to soft matter. Eh? Uh, soft, uh, soft matter has uh, there's a mechanism of condensation or a mechanism of transport uh, are not or also, also the nature of uh, optical property are not, not well uh, understood uh, as compared. So experimentalists Good experiment, uh, experimentalists, not only Uzbekistan, but also Japan, are focused to the uh, uh, phenomenon in the scale far from our daily life, or at, uh, at most uh, nano, nano science level. So I hope uh, active, uh, active young people also uh, uh, choose soft matter as a target of fundamental physics. So, okay, also. Another one, wait a minute, okay. Nanoscience, uh, to, yes, yes, uh, okay. Mm, we see mm, trans, uh, transport properties such as conductance resistance or energy level statics actually show, uh, according to the experiment, experiment shows a clear distinction uh, between the classically chaotic system and classically regular system. 
So at the moment, we have only uh, uh, two thread stable of existing qu quantum mechanics. So we theoreticians uh, can, can access, can attack only with the use of the existing framework quantum mechanics. Schrodinger equation or Dirac equation. But uh, I'm, I am confident if the, just as, uh, just so, uh, quantum mechanics should also be, uh, become more, more generic. That means uh, invention of quantum mechanics uh, will, will directly capture, not a signature, but real, uh, real chaos in the nano world, nanoscale world. Thank you for answering. More, more philosophical question. Regarding chaos, chaos. chaos. Is, it, is there really a chaos in nature or there is order and our limitation, limitation of human capabilities to see this order? You mean the chaos? Uh, is there uh, such thing as a chaos? Or it's because our limitations of our capabilities of means to measure that we cannot see this order in nature. And we think that this is a chaos. I think uh, chaos sometimes misunderstood as a noise, as a randomness. Okay? But uh, chaos are uh, highly deterministic, uh, not noise, not random. So I think uh, chaos uh, also appear in the smart on the network, etc. Et already. But uh, uh, I think uh, because of the difficulty to analyze uh, uh, quite uh, only quite a few researchers are concerned with the analysis of chaos, which are appearing in our, in our, uh, in our daily life. Okay? Not the future, already, I think already, already exists. One more question is uh, coming from our online Zoom. Uh, uh, as you know, sun is expanding and in, in increasing its volume one, one day when the gravity force that is holding solar system planets in incredible amount. Doesn't work because uh, she distance between them. Can our sun be black hole by putting by pulling each planet in our solar system? I think uh, a star, eh? uh, firing star uh, that shows a uh, uh, nuclear fusion can finally uh, use that. Uh, uh, used to be in hydrogen, helium, etc. And then, uh, then uh, energy of nuclear fusion cannot uh, equilibrate of the strong gravitational uh, attraction. Therefore, sun itself uh, can be a small, can be a small. Uh, Black hole, or a, or a neutron star, something like this, can without without not with the not much including. Mm -hmm. And is it sun itself can be a candidate of black hole and neutron star? Okay. So, and is it possible uh, or our sun in landing doesn't uh, uh, uh? the last one? Is it possible? That our sun the enlarging doesn't affect mm. our gravi uh, gravitational, gravitational force. 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 Uh, toward to the Earth. Uh, does affect the force. Uh, toward. Ask. Yes, to the Earth. Uh, yeah, for, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Before the death of a star in English sun, uh, it grows very large. Mm -hmm. Therefore, this uh, 
So therefore, uh, such hot mm -hmm. uh, expanded sun will affect our us. So is it possible? I mean, should be. I mean, should we be it, concerned I mean, about we, the end of the life in the earth? We concentrate about the end. Yeah. <laughs> the end of the life in the earth. End and life in earth. Ah. Oh, Yes, at the end. But future. Yes, yes. Future of us, of course, affected okay. by the fate of sun. Of course, of course. Our us, our us, yes, us. <laughs> what happens with us? Do okay, we continue yeah. to live or will we be die? Okay, I, I think the us cannot uh, uh, cannot arrive independently. All is affected by the fate of the sun. The fate of the sun uh, determines the fate of uh, our us. And one more question. Uh, dear Professor Nakamura, <coughs> my question is about chaos. Yeah. About chaos. Yeah. Chaos, okay. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, what do you think? Uh, what kind of uh, relationship may be? Uh, Chaos and uh, tunneling effect. Uh, chaos and tunneling. Uh -huh. ah, yes. So that means uh, if uh, chaos treated in in the existing home of quantum mechanics, uh, um, yeah, yeah, tunneling, tunneling, uh, tunneling of particles through barrier will be will be affected if the okay mm, oh, be difficult to get it uh, mm. <laughs> very difficult yeah. if the party is confined here and uh, penetrates with the barrier. Okay? But, uh, this can be treated uh, in the standard form of quantum mechanics. So, um, yeah. if, uh, if this is not a single, a simple, uh, a simple uh, well, harmonic well, uh, this kind of funding is a trigger. But uh, for example, uh, if this is distorted, then we sometimes see top to view, top to view of the potential can be something like this. Yeah. Uh, oh, this picture, no? Uh, it's the bottom. Uh, okay. We consider uh, more, 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 uh, so here you see here the bottom of L, here the paddle, paddle. Okay. Um, so. so motion, uh, 
Raster motion here can be uh, chaotic can be because uh, because uh, true study and uh, and also so chaos here affects the penetration rate through this. Mm. But, mm. There are several studies are going on, but the chaos enhance chaos enhance the summoning rate. According to several chaos enhance several summoning rate. The quantum wire. It's a simple, simple uh, wire. So here is the Here is the uh, so-called so In this case, uh, motion is regular. In this case, it's a uh, tunneling break will not be affected. But uh, if we consider uh, electric trap. The tunneling rate is enhanced. But it's a very simple subject. So, thank you very much for nice presentation. Thank you, Nakamura. I also would like to thank you. Uh, from the bottom of my heart for your uh, hard work and a very nice presentation. I was very, very impressed with the dynamics of this presentation and of this session. And um, um, Omida, thank you so much for joining. I think that um, we will not, I am actually, I'm not very much concerned about the question that you asked because um, we have students like you and I hope that you will be the ones in the future who will also um, solve all these problems that are coming up every time and uh, I'm actually um, very, very much concerned that everything will be all right since we have students like you uh, with us. And I also want to thank everybody for coming and for joining us. Uh, thank you so much for your questions and for your active participation. I hope it was a very, very um, useful session for all of you. Physics, um, this is what I've read and I remember physics is considered to be the queen of science. I am now, um, um, I feel very pity that I didn't learn it that deeply at school and then um, I, I wish I did. Uh, but um, also today I learned that physics um, can be, um, there are so many um, aspects in physics that still needs to be um, researched. And there are st still a lot of topics for our new, uh, for our young students, young researchers to learn about. And I hope I'm very much, um, excited to see all the young students here. I know that there are some students from Nagoya University course, and this is exactly something. I hope that today you got some motivation, you got some aspiration and some, uh, and some inspiration from professors so that maybe some of you will choose um, physics for your research, for your future research, for your academic career. Uh, we, uh, I hope that this is something that you will um, research in the future um, at Nagoya University or in any other university in Japan. Thank you so much once again, and I hope to see you in our next sessions.